while we are at the concept of density, let's explain something called relative density or specific gravity. Two, two titles, same concept. Specific gravity, also called relative density, is the ratio of the density of a substance to that of a standard substance. And we have already chosen that standard substance. That standard substance is H2O at 4 degrees Celsius. Sir, what is this 4 degrees Celsius? Huh? What is this 4 degrees Celsius? Why? We will, we will treat this, uh, we will we'll study this properly in uh, calorimetry actually. But 4 degrees Celsius means the water is densest, densest at 4 degrees Celsius. Huh? What does that mean? Okay, uh, see, uh, you know I love to digress, but I will hold myself back, okay. There is a concept called anomalous expansion of water. Water is strange, huh? it gives us life. It's beautiful, it's life itself, but it's a little bit strange. It has its own idiosyncrasies. Water has an animalous expansion nature. Animally means, watched interstellar, remember? What were they searching for? Gravitational anomaly. What is anomaly? Anomaly is where rules go to fail. <laughs> okay, but as I said, I digress. Water is densest at 4 degrees Celsius. Oh, eight minute, eight minute. Lovely example I give you. Huh? Here is a container full of water, up to the brim. Not a single drop ka vijay nahi. Full, full brim. Okay? Everyone, stop writing. You have a container full of water at temperature 4 degrees Celsius. You have a container full of water at temperature 4 degrees Celsius. Okay? What happens if the temperature is decreased that means you go down from 4 and what happens if temperature increase in which case will the water spill out and in which case the water's level will start decreasing because it starts freezing or whatever hmm tell me i'll repeat the question water is filled up to the brim but the temperature during this is 4 degrees celsius now case 1 i decrease the temperature from 4 degrees Celsius. Case 2, I increase the temperature from 4 degrees Celsius. In which case will the water spill out and in which case the water's level will start decreasing a little bit? Boss, in both the case, the water will spill out. What? Yes, sir. Mass remains constant. Density is highest at 4 degrees Celsius. That means whether you go up of 4 or you go down of 4, the density will decrease. Decrease. And density is mass upon volume. Mass, conservation of mass holds good. That means rho V equal to M is equal to constant, right? Yes, sir. So density is highest at 4. Either way, density goes down. Yes, sir. So, if density goes down, my lord, to keep the product constant, what happens to volume? It increases. I don't know. If this is not fascinating, what it is? Water is at 4 degrees Celsius. Hey na? Filled up to the brim. If thermostat decreases, if, if the thermometer reading goes down, water spills out. Then you say, arre, 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 uh, pani is coming out. Heat it, heat it. So, you heat it, pani is still coming out. Anomaly, right? Good stuff? Okay. Only this much here. Water's density is highest at 4 degrees Celsius. Okay. So, what is specific gravity? If you choose water as that standard, you take the value as 1 gram per cc or 1000 kilogram per meter cube, let's say. The ratio of density of a substance upon density of water at 4 degrees Celsius is called its relative density or specific gravity. Clearly, if the spe specific gravity is a pure ratio, obviously, na, this will be in kilogram per meter cube. This will be in kilogram per meter cube. Clearly, the kilogram per meter cube and kilogram per meter cube will get cancelled. What I will get is just a ratio. Hey, na? What happens if this ratio is less than 1? <coughs> mm. If the ratio is less than 1, what happens if SG, specific gravity, or relative density RD is less than 1? That means it is lighter than water. Correct. It will float. 
what happens if it is more than one it is it is heavier than water denser than water it will sink there you go come on don't over come over complicate this happy hmm? if rd oh why if why if tell me what is the rd or specific gravity of sg of hg mercury kitna hoga hmm 13.6 why 13600 upon 1000 in other words in other words if the density of water is taken as 1 gram per cc then your relative density is nothing but gram per cc wala density minus the units nothing else hai na in other words if you ask me what is the specific gravity of mercury my answer should be what 13.6 no units but if you ask me what is the density of mercury immediately i'll put gram per cc after that that's what i meant to say why because in gram per cc water is one 